times are crazy, we need a little bit of serious right now. My name is Michaela Marie and this channel is dedicated to revisiting the lost art of sophistication in our lives. In today's video, we are going to be discussing why you should not just be yourself. I know that this topic is going to be a little bit controversial, so I recommend if you are easily triggered by provocative subjects that you click off this video and perhaps watch something a little bit different. What does the phrase just be yourself even mean? Don't try to act differently than what comes naturally to you, right? Let's break this down a little more. What comes naturally to us, our instincts, would be the need for food, water, shelter, and a uh, non-defiance of the law of the land to not be ostracized from our pack and our tribe, which we actually need in order to not starve and die. If you think about it, anything beyond these instincts really is actually, I guess, a behavioral pattern that we learned from evolving. And we either evolve individually based on our immediate environment or as a whole species, we evolve to fit in together socially with the largest group around us. If we were all to just be ourselves, we would really prioritize our basic instincts more than anything. And you know, you wouldn't be seeing brilliant musicians, chemical engineers, ballet dancers. We would only be focused on the essentials and not non-essential nonsense like discovering the wheel. Now, to be fair, I do realize that the majority of people saying just be yourself are referring to keeping true to your personal interests but you have to understand there are also a lot of people that meet the saying right in the middle let's give an example i should not have to dress nice for my son's wedding if he doesn't accept me for who i am and how i dress i shouldn't have to be there he doesn't deserve to have me there oftentimes people would rather stay comfortable exactly where they're at what they're familiar with even if it's painful and their life is not going great than to have to go through the pain of growing and changing and pushing themselves to be better and different let's give another example there's a young woman who is a very outgoing person she's you know, social, she's more extroverted. She happens to be the loudest person in the room when she's at a party. She's the one telling all the stories, the spotlight's on her when she's in a restaurant. You can hear her on the other side of the restaurant. And you think about it, that social thing that she has, you know, being extroverted and outgoing, is not inherently bad. Honestly, it can be a very positive trait. However, one of the main points I want to make in this video is that self-discipline needs to come into play in everybody's daily lives. If this woman does not practice self-discipline and she's just running away with her, you know it's her personality trait to be outgoing. And it's, like I said, it's not a bad thing. But she's probably not going to notice the other girls at the party who are shy or maybe a little less outspoken. And maybe they were hoping to come that evening and I don't know, get to know some people and socialize and put herself out there. But you can't when other people are overpowering the space. We all know this, we've all been there. Or when Miss Extrovert is in a restaurant and everybody has to hear her loud conversations and her laughing, you know, it's rude. It's invasive to other people's evenings. You know, you're not the only person sitting there. I don't want this girl, this extroverted, lovely, social outgoing butterfly to muffle down herself. But you do need to have self-discipline even with things that you're good at and positive traits. Otherwise, you can not refine them. So the saying just be yourself, it really holds you into one place, one category, exactly where you are. The saying just be yourself has even been used on like a worldwide scale. Everyone needs to just be themselves and they'd be happy. Well, what about the severe drug addicts? What about the criminals? Like, I'm sorry, but no, people should not follow their animalistic instincts honestly and even the good traits of yourself like i was just mentioning should be practiced alongside self-control that is actually one of the fruits of the spirits talked about in the bible naturally human beings are flawed we're sinful this doesn't mean this little baby that's born is a big sinner that's not the point it's just we are competitive and not cooperative and this breeds a lot of selfishness and this breeds a lot of bad behavior. You can't really tell me that there is nothing about yourself that you can look at and you can think, oh, I should improve that. We're allowed to talk about self-improvement. We're allowed to talk about leveling up, glowing up, as the kids say. So what I really mean when I say don't just be yourself is 
kind of clickbaity, but really it's not because I, I mean it. I'm not talking about hating yourself and feeling horrible about yourself. I'm talking about looking at yourself in the mirror and recognizing that you are not perfect. Everybody should care about how other people feel in the room and become more courteous, compassionate, and polite. Everybody should, regardless of if you agree with them or not. And let me tell you, where I live, a lot of people I disagree with. However, this is not how I treat people. I do not treat people like I'm better than them. I do offer videos on my channel specifically where if somebody wants to have a conversation, I offer my opinions and my advices. You know, whatever advices I possibly have from my experience in life. And just so people don't feel too called out, I'm going to call myself out a little bit, okay? I'm a very defensive person because I grew up in a big family and there's a lot of drama and you know, not going to go on and on about it, but my natural instincts are to be rebellious and to fight with people. Not physically. Sorry, I know it's disappointing. I have to say that I am proud of myself for taking this journey of self-improvement and I guess dying to my old self as severe as that sounds. I can discipline myself and use this trait that I've accumulated through my life and my experiences as a good thing, as a positive thing, but if I do not have self-discipline, if I'm just myself, a lot of people around me, my friends, my family, you know, they're not going to be treated with as much compassion and understanding as they will be when I'm self-disciplined. So to tie this whole video together, when I say don't be yourself, it's not as severe as it sounds. I'm really just calling you to action. I'm calling you to improve yourself. And this is not about being prettier. This is not about getting more guys attention. This is not about being more popular. The way that you feel that peace and that power that you accumulate when you are self-disciplined and you do improve yourself and you seek a higher wisdom than what you have naturally, you will find deeper satisfaction in life. You will find peace in your life. I want you to do better. I know you can do better. I've done better, I'm still trying to do better, and when I fall, I want somebody to get in my face and remind me of the same exact thing. We are elegant and sophisticated people. We are not mean, depressed, inconsiderate. We might have moments, but we don't stay there, okay? There is more out there for you. There is a depth that you have not reached yet in your life. There's a peace and a love that is unspeakable, and you can have this too. You need to start by reflecting on yourself. You need to scrutinize yourself. Learn to do this without hating yourself. When you hear invasive thoughts telling you you hate yourself, just to be angry and mean to yourself, those thoughts are evil, okay? Those thoughts do not guide you into betterment. This is not about meanness. This is not about abusing and beating yourself up for your flaws. This is about taking a hold of those bad habits and those patterns in your life that are destroying your life. Thank you all for watching today. I know this was a pretty serious video, but you know what? Times are crazy. We need a little bit of serious right now in our funny comedic social media world so yeah thank you for watching subscribe if you want to and i'll see you in the next video eric can you please lower the volume